coming home! It's fucking coming home, baby! No, it, it, it actually didn't come home, at least this World Cup for now. Which is a shame, and today we have like, or at least the day I'm recording this, Argentina versus Croatia, so let's see what that happens. So anyways, beautiful people, today we have an interesting video about the United Kingdom and a bunch of their like territories and island and crown dependencies and you know, all that good stuff. Because Empire, they do have a lot of those. So, you know, let's see what's up. And if you like this video, you can subscribe. You know, I've been working really hard to make some good ass, some, some good ass videos. So, I don't know. Maybe you can subscribe, dude. That, that'd be nice. I'm not gonna lie. So, let's fucking go, oh, my friend Barbie. So, this video is gonna kind of serve as like a reference video for the upcoming UK episode. Super excited, but also... Yo, the UK episode is gonna be releasing soon, my god. Uh, Tuvalu was the last episode, so yeah, I guess we're getting close to the UK. Nice, dude. Also super flustered because, you know, the UK is like, you can't easily condense it. They once had the world's largest... Oh, yeah. ...spanning every continent, making up about a quarter of the world's... Jesus land. Christ, look at that. We've already done many videos about this, but this is a beautiful map you know the empire where the sun never goes down it's a beautiful thing and i know a lot of british people uh feel very proud about it but i don't know we probably if you ask a lot of people from these places they don't feel too nice about it and mass you know so many just saying sub and this video will basically serve as the reference guide to all the confusing british entities so that i don't have to spend so much time doing it in the uk nice episode. we love that click on this video instead so let's begin first off what is the difference between the uk and great britain well all right, all right, all right dog we, we know that one right we know that one great britain is like well do we know that one okay great britain is that island within the British Isles, and, and then you have Northern Ireland, and that's the UK, right? It's essentially the big island and the largest part of the country. Made of Which, by the way, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm just a little sick, so, you know, take that into account when you listen to my voice. Three constituent countries, England, Scotland, and Wales. And you Wales, heard of these three. Baby. Yes, they are within themselves considered separate countries. They have their own cultures. Yeah, look at that. Councils, look at that skirt. So on. Yet, Scottish they skirt. The overarching authority of the UK. So it's like three countries that report to one system. Yeah, so yeah, I guess that's how it works, right? Like three countries, but they aren't really countries. Scotland basically became a part of the UK in 1707. Some say it was more like 100 years prior to that when James Ooh. Was King Henry VIII and forced to build that joined the two. Both Scotland uh, are Celtic. Henry VIII, our favorite Henry. In their roots, so they are essentially the cousins of the Irish. They even have their own languages. However, Scots and Scottish Gaelic are kind of, it's kind of like a dying language. Few people speak it. Whereas Wales fares a little better in the language. Is it? I'd love to hear from people from like Scotland and, and maybe Ireland. Like, is it really dead? Like, do you know someone? Maybe your grandfather? Are there like people that actually speak it now? I'm, I'm curious. I think it's an interesting language. I mean, I don't understand. I barely understand like Scottish English. Well, it's very hard to bring them to mind. This is the thing. It's only, it's all right when you're always not going there. And happy, happy is us. Hmm? Right, like I think that's like the meme, like nobody understands them. Isle of Wight, the Isle of Anglesey, the Orkney, Hebrides, the Isle of Man, islands off the coast of Scotland, and so on. All oh. except for this one, but we'll get to that in a bit. From there, we well, have I guess Northern not. Ireland. No one knows exactly what to call it. Some say it's a country, some say it's a province, some say it's a region. That's a they country, right? If they have an official flag or not. But the point is, Northern Ireland is the last part of the puzzle that makes up the geographical UK or the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern and Ireland. Northern Ireland. This is the majority of Northern Irish people are descendants of Protestant British colonials that came in in the 12th century they have 11 district councils and they kind of have this weird home rule system where people can choose to either have irish or british or both citizenship stuff like that now yo really i think that's a pretty good deal especially because ireland is doing lately so well i think their gdp is like extremely fucking high so hey that's a that's a cool deal i'll take it i'll take it for sure to the fun stuff, all of the things outside oh my of Great God. Northern Ireland, including the, the uh, uh, Antarctic territory. On how you look at one of them, divided into three different types in three oceans, two seas, and one separate continental landmass. Let's start with the closest entity, the three crown dependencies, which are islands that do not belong to any of the constituent nations. Oh, like the Isle of Man. Probably yeah. have some of the highest levels of autonomy. There we go. The areas that fall under the constitutional jurisdiction of the UK. They have their own parliaments, legal systems, and the right to self-determination. 
my most popular video is about the Isle of Man, sort of. So hey, you know, I think I have a special place of it in my heart. French, and many of the people in the islands are bilingual with French as well, due to the proximity and regular interaction with France. It's like right. Do there. I like From Brittany? There, we move on to the rest of the bots or British overseas territories within Europe. They are called bots. The small peninsula attached to the southern part. Oh of no! 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 Listen. I'm Mexican, so I guess that makes me partially Spanish. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about Gibraltar. You know, not not a fan. Not a fan. Let me tell you. As well as Acrotiria and Decalia, exclaves within the island of Cyprus. Yeah, don't they have like like military bases in Cyprus? Like like they are like literally military bases. That's uh, a little strange, but I, it makes sense. It's the UK, remember? We're talking about, like, the Royal Navy, yo. We already explained these in the Cyprus and Spain episodes, but basically, Gibraltar was captured in 1704 during the Spanish War of Succession, and then it was ceded... That is no bueno. It's not country. coming it's home, dude. That's why. ...rock and macaque monkeys and a weird airport that crosses traffic with cars, and the people even speak their own dialect of Spanish called Yanito. They even issue their own currency variant of the... Come on, man. People speak Spanish. Just let Gibraltar go. Just give it Spain, that'd be a nice gesture, you know, there's so many uh, British tourists in Spain, right, like you guys love Spain, you know, get, make a nice gesture, give them back to Gibraltar. Joined with St. Kitts and Nevis until they broke away in the 50s, they're like, nah, they along with uh -huh. Again, not going, not dollar separating. Currency. The Cayman Islands have their own Cayman Islands dollar, which has parity with the US. Again, what's gonna happen with the fucking queen, though, are, are they gonna change their bills? Are they gonna use new ones? You know, they're gonna put, like, King Charles on them? What's going on? Basically, they were discovered by the Portuguese, hence the Portuguese name, Tristan da Cunha. St. Helena, which is also where Napoleon was exiled that one time, yeah. has its own bank that creates St. Helenian pounds on parity with pound sterlings. Tristan da Cunha is actually made up of six islands, only Tristan da Cunha is inhabited, and it is the only active nice. volcanic island of the group. I now guess. Now we go way down south to the controversial Falkland Island. Oh, south. no. Uh... No, 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 no. Ah, listen, I love my Argentinian brothers. I really do. They are uh, Latino brothers. They are uh, really nice people. Most of them, not all. I, I think I agree with the UK on this one. You know, it's the Falkland Islands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I, I've been I've been moving around the subject quite a bit throughout the history of my channel. But I think as of right now, I'm with the UK on this one. I don't care. South Sandwich Islands. For one, you gotta know these are all disputed. Oh, uh, yeah. Argentina calls these Las Malvinas. Las Malvinas. Shit. Things after with multiple bays and fjords. And that actually and looks beautiful. Sandwich Islands, which are much colder in climate and some are volcanically active. And all around these areas, you can find penguins, wildlife, and plant species. Penguins. From there, we hey. up to a little water That's similar, in the though. British Indian Ocean <laughs> Territory, which, like Akrotiri and Decalia, is a military base inhabited with about 3,000 temporary stationed military Empire. Mostly British and American on the Chagos huh. Archipelago.